You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Bro Down Podcast. My name is Tim Fulton. I'm Andy Smith. Smith. And this is What Do You Got? Uh, what do you got? We each bring topics to the table that the other guy doesn't know about. We chit chat about it for a little bit. Yeah. This is Andy's turn, which means today we are going to be talking about coffee. Yeah. I love coffee. It's the greatest. It is the greatest drug ever invented. Easy. Like, fuck you, penicillin. <laughs> Fuck you, alcohol. I was, I was going to say. the back goddamn scene. When you said penicillin, I'm like, not the direction I was going. <laughs> oh, I'm saying all drugs. All the drugs. All the drugs. Caffeine, coffee. You are my heart. You okay. are my soul. Okay, okay. coffee. You're over-exaggerating. Continue. Let's, Let's talk, talk about it. it. Numero uno. When did you first start drinking coffee? Young. I remember my. Like six? No. God. I mean, that would explain why I'm 5'8". <laughs> uh, probably like 15, 16. This is exactly yeah. when I started drinking. When, when, when I first started work. working like a decent amount of hours. Yeah, that's what it was for me too. When I had, I, Did I first start on a job? I can't remember. I think, no, the first time I had coffee, ironically, was at a Thanksgiving thing. I remember. I mean, like, like tasted it? it? I think I had tasted it before that. No, I'm sure I had tasted it before that, but like yeah. that was the first time I had like I legitimately like had, had a, cup a cup of coffee. coffee. Yeah. And I remember my uncle looking at me being like, Why do you need coffee? And yeah. I was just like, I like shut coffee. up. I didn't have my nap. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Um when, when I first, first started drinking coffee, I was working and I was going I was going from school to the to my job. And then after the job I would go to the gym. And then it at night and I had the sleep apnea that I didn't know about. So I was exhausted, but I hated coffee when really? I first started drinking it. Hated it. It was out of necessity that I started drinking it. And I used to put like 20 sugars in it. Oh, It was, dude, I had to get it to the point. It was almost like a syrup. That's disgusting. I know because I can't, I can't drink coffee like that now. Well, but it was so, it was so bad. It was so bad. Where were you getting your goddamn coffee from? It was across the street at a gas station. That would have been problem number one. But the thing was is that it wasn't just like a one-off where it was like, oh, they, they, they burned it today. It was consistently shit. So I was like, they can't fuck it up 30 days in a row. So, so I guess I just avoid coffee. Yeah. So, uh, But now, I fucking love coffee. Oh, my God. It's the best. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite kind of coffee? Uh, French vanilla. Easy. Same here. <laughs> Same here. This is one of the few topics that's the you f- and I actually agree th- on. That's my favorite creamer. So, uh, so favorite, like, generic kind of coffee? Like, mm, how do we put this? What, not f- favorite flavor, favorite brand that you make at your house. Uh, it See, that doesn't matter to me. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm pretty basic. Give me a good cup of cold. There is yeah. there is something to be said about like higher like I like Wesley Farms better than I like Maxwell House or Chuck Full of Nuts. I'm afraid to start experimenting with coffee in that direction because I'm afraid my tastes are going to become more refined, and then all of a sudden I'm going to be going from the Folgers guy where my coffee is like Best a nickel a day. Waking up. It's about to yeah. Um, to being like the hoity toity, I need my French baguette. Coffee yeah, I don't think it'll get, I don't think it'll get like that. The, the way that I look at coffee is it's a simple pleasure that you can have every day. That's what she said. Exactly. Um, that's not that expensive when you buy it, your, like you buy it for your house yeah. in the coffee grounds, but you can make it seem like you're fucking fancy if you get, if you just, it is more expensive, but coffee's not that expensive. No, it's not. You buy like a ten dollar thing of Maxwell House, and it says it makes like three thousand cups. <laughs> so it's not that bad. No. But when you look at the other one, it's like, oh, the Wesley Farms uh, hazelnut is the one I got the last time. It's like, oh, it's it's only two thirds of the weight, but it's it's like double the price. And you're like, it's fucking bullshit. You're like, it still makes two hundred cups of coffee. <laughs> So what am I really fucking? Wait, wait, I'm gonna drink tar, 
because I don't want to spend an extra ten bucks for a month's worth of coffee. That's fair. My um, buddy makes good coffee. He like yeah. he gets super super into it. Like he, it's hard to describe. He doesn't even have. Does he like do the? Does he like grind it and age it or whatever? He doesn't grind like weird it. Weird shit. He doesn't grind it himself, but he goes to like fancy like uh, uh, coffee shops that will grind. Okay, so he gets fr- fresh yeah. ground. There is something to be said about fresh ground coffee. It yeah. does taste a little bit um, less like bitey. Yeah. Um, but there's a, there is a line I will draw when it comes to like when you have to do arts and crafts to get your coffee. Fuck that. Yeah, see, no, that's he's, – he's, he loves it, though. I won't do that, he, though. He will make you – if you have to tell him ahead of time if you're going to take milk and sugar because he has different coffees for that. He's like – No, no, you don't. Yeah, he does. You put coffee in my cup. I'll put what I want in it. <laughs> the one thing I always do, too, which I never understand, and everyone looks at me like I'm a dickhead when I say it, is when you're pouring your coffee, do you put the creamer in before – or after you put the coffee in? You've changed how I did it. Right? I used to not because you can't do that with normal milk because it'll curl. You no. can't. Milk curls when it's bad. Milk curls if it gets too hot as well. So when do you put your milk in? After. How much is the coffee cooled down? A couple degrees? I, I see your I see your point. Trust me, I I used to do it with milk too. It won't curl unless it's unless it's bad. If milk curls, it's bad. You're bad. Yeah, but you see how my you see how the way that I do it is more efficient and consistent, and then you don't need to use a fucking spoon. <laughs> That's my biggest thing. I like keeping the spoon. I do like a spoon, but when you have to wash the fucking spoon, or if you're out somewhere and someone's like, where's the spoon? You're like, well, just put the creamer in before you put your coffee in. We're like, I don't know how much to put in. You have been you make coffee every day of your life. You don't know how much creamer that you like to put in. It's like, well, if I have to put it in before, I don't know. Just the whole thing? I don't know what to do. I don't know, dude. But it is... I feel like you're getting really I, heated over I did, something. No, I, I really am because because pe- people look at me. I've said that before in the past. They're like, do you have a spoon? I'm like, no, why do you need a spoon? They're like, i got to mix it. I'm like, well, just put the creamer in first and dump the coffee, and the coffee will mix the creamer. And they're like, like, well, I don't I don't know how to – how am I supposed to know how much creamer to put in? I'm like, I don't know. You're an adult. You've been making coffee for 20 years. Maybe just you should know how much creamer you like. What, what's the difference of spinning it and putting it in as opposed to – because how many people do you know that spin the coffee and then put it in to check the color? They don't do that, do they? What? This is where I'm getting into. This is why I get so mad. Why do you let these things this, – this topic's about to change to why yeah, this, 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 OCD. This is – yeah, why this is my do you OCD. Let these things but this is you? this is my silly OCD where, like, I don't think about this any more than the time it's happening in the conversation. Like, it doesn't bother me afterwards or anything like that. But you're awfully animated. <laughs> yes. But when you're when, – when people say, I don't know how much coffee – or I don't know how much creamer to put in the coffee, to me that means that they were – they – they know what how much creamer to put in based on the color of the coffee as they put in. They stop when the color changes. Okay. I've never once seen somebody stir black coffee and then and then slowly pull pour their cream in, which is the only way you know how dark or light you're making the coffee. Unless you've done it so routinely, you can get a general idea from the predominant color in the coffee at the time you're doing it without having to stir. Pour creamer into coffee next time and not and have it sitting. You can't tell any difference in it because it goes to the bottom. Well, you're using creamer. I use milk. Milk, milk doesn't bad. matter. Cold goes to the bottom. No, milk. Not 100%. You will see a change in color. A little bit. But when you stir it is when the change happens. Predominantly. But I'm saying that if you do it enough, you will know roughly how much milk based on the – You mean you've been pouring it so long you know exactly how much creamer you need? Really? That's what you're saying? Why are you arguing with me? I'm no, not I'm on saying either side. But you know how you know what I mean? Like when when somebody says something and they don't, they never thought about why they're they're just they've been so used to doing it and they don't realize that it doesn't make sense. I guess, dude. Yeah, 
guess. I just, yeah. You got to let it go. You got to let this one go. No, because I've made coffee for people before and put the creamer in. I put the creamer in for them. I'm like, how much do you want? They're like, oh, I don't. Don't put it in before. It's gonna ruin. It's like it's gonna ruin the coffee. I was like, well, then now you don't get coffee. How about that. <laughs> See, I think that might be close to the line. <laughs> okay, so coffee shops. Co- uh, Dunkin' Donuts for the win. Yeah. Why? I like their coffee more. Okay. I don't. Well, okay. So if I'm getting straight up coffee, Dunkin' Donuts for the win. I will go to Starbucks and get like. Fancy ass bullshit. Ew. I love fancy ass bullshit. Ew. See, this is why you're afraid because you get roped into bullshit. Wait, why I'm afraid? Why you're afraid of like getting too into buying, buying other coffees because oh, you yeah, get roped into I, I, get, I get roped into <laughs> to stuff like that. Yeah, yeah you, you get, get roped, roped into shit. shit. Uh, gr- uh, what do I get? Starbucks, Starbucks I, think I think is too, too strong, strong and, too and too overpriced. White mocha espresso latte or something like that. That's what I get. I don't even know what any of that means. I don't either, but it's fucking delicious. <laughs> Um, Starbucks, Starbucks, I don't like, like the taste, taste of their coffee. I don't either. I, I think, think it's bitter. bitter. Yeah, it's way too bitter for me. Yeah, it's bitter. bitter. Even with milk and sugar. Dunkin' Donuts, though, you're taking a real risk. You're playing Russian roulette with your coffee. Like, if you order from 10 different Dunkin' Donuts the same coffee, you get 10 different coffees. Well, that's because Dunkin' Donuts is manned by a bunch of 14-year-old high school girls who aren't really sure what's going on. No, I, you can't even blame that because if you watch the coffee process there, everything is automated. What's this still put in like milk and sugar and shit? That's automated now. Is it really? There's a button that they push where it says small, medium, large. You hit it, cream or sugar, or cream or milk. Cream. It goes same amount every time. Same thing with the sugar. How is it different? How do I get one that tastes like somebody melted birthday cake into a cup, and then the other one tastes like somebody dumped engine oil in it? I don't know. There are times that I will get black coffee, and I went to a Dunkin' Donuts once. It was like they had used the same grounds like four times in a row. I was looking at it. I could see through it. I was. I could see to the bottom of the cup. I'm like, what? The Dunkin' Donuts right down here. I don't think I've ever got the same cup of coffee. I've ordered the same cup of coffee every time I've I've gone there. I don't think it's ever tastes the same. The Dunkin' Donuts I used to go to would I love them. They would, oh really? They would see me coming and they would make it. I love. There's, there's something to be said about a place that knows how to make coffee. I will say G and A Bagels, the the place that we always go to for bagels. They make a good cup of coffee. Like sometimes I'll take it over the creamer. Like that's how good it is. Like I'll get it at that place with just milk and a little sugar over the creamer. Some places just have a like I don't know if they buy their coffee grounds somewhere else or just the way that they make it. But some some places just do it right. My job, my office. I don't know what it is about their coffee. I love it. There is something to be said too about walking into an office and have fresh coffee already made. Yeah. That, that makes it taste better. better. And, and there, there is, is something also to be said for diner coffee. coffee. Yeah. I think that just might be hangover cure. <laughs> no, no, like even at night. Like, like if you're going there. Because I, I could drink coffee, coffee anytime. Yeah, I'm the same way. I can drink uh, but uh, I, think I think it's the mug. mug. I think it's that thick-ass mug, mug that you could kill a mule deer with. That it's just something about those heavy mugs. I work with my father. And he's not not a fan of flavored coffees. And so we started getting flavored coffees in at work, and he would complain. He'd be like, what the fuck? Why does my office smell like goddamn hazelnut? And he would get upset. He's why a crabby he, old man. Why would, he, dad. why would he get upset that it smells good in the office? He doesn't like it. He doesn't want it. Why is that a thing in his office? So eventually, we, used to, we, were, we would get clients coming in. They'd be like, what is that wonderful smell? And he, he would just be like, yeah, <laughs> he's caved. Smells like fun. <laughs> Knock it off. He's caved on the topic because literally, there we've had clients who would walk in and they'd be like, "Is that, is that? Can I have some?" Yeah, when, when I, I smell fresh, fresh like, like especially, especially flavored coffee, coffee. It's, it's like, like it's like, like an adult, adult candle. candle. Yeah, and what the, the feeling I get. Remember Looney Tunes when, when somebody would smell like, like a somebody baking and that that wave, wave would would and, and they, they would, would just float out of their, their bed and just hover like a ghost that's, that's the feeling i get when i smell fresh, fresh coffee you see that family guy episode yeah. yeah peter it's making me watch yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh yeah okay 
So, so I'm freezing and I need a cup of coffee. Yeah, I need my a hand, cup of coffee. I, I've, I've lost feeling in my hands. I, yeah, I, it's super cold in here. We've been doing this way too long and we've been talking about coffee for like 20 minutes. So yeah. we're going to go have some and in the meantime, just like, subscribe, do all that other bullshit. Let us know what, what your, your favorite, favorite coffee, coffee is too. Is I'm interested. interested. Yeah, that's a good I'm one. I'm interested. Let us know. Peace out, everybody. <sighs> You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day.